All right, guys. So on our last uh, RC video, uh, showed you how to replace a uh, a bad servo. Uh, then I went out and I was messing around, and well, if you didn't catch the uh, catch the clip, here you go. Yeah, I, I crashed the plane. Not bad. Nothing. Nothing bad at all. Just broke a prop because I hit the driveway. Anyway, so as you can tell here, it is. Uh, yeah, it's significantly broke off. Even if you chip it off just a little bit, I highly recommend replacing the prop. Um, just to show you guys here, this is stuff like that will happen when you, uh, well, when you try to fly it with, uh, <laughs> with a bad prop because it is severely out of balance. Right, there we go, guys. So we showed you why you don't run a broken prop or, or even one that just has just a little bit of damage to it, you know, cracked, really anything. The vibrations start to get to it and, and something's going to break on your airplane. Um benefit of that for me was I'll show you here real quick um, and actually if you look very carefully right about there it is there's a little grub screw uh, actually I was missing one on the other side so I replaced it with that one um, so what we're gonna do here is put the motor back in and then we will uh, swap out the prop alright guys so it's time to remove the uh, the prop uh, this one here has a little prop nut thing on it. We'll we'll jump into that. But if yours is a little bit more standard, kind of like this, where it's just got a nut on the end, uh, you know, just grab an adjustable or uh, or anything like that. If it is something like this, I highly recommend uh, swapping this out with a you know a lock nut, something that's got a little, because this is eventually going to vibrate out, and guaranteed your prop's going to fly off at the worst possible moment. This one here, um, basically, you're going to want to grab, well, the easiest way is an Allen key. You can always do it with a screwdriver. Um, I, I Generally, I think the Allen key is the best. You want to grab the biggest but smallest one that you can so it goes through. Because if you go too small, you could bend your Allen key. If you go too big, it's not going to fit through the hole. Uh, I will say, I generally use an Allen key. Just make sure it's one that you don't really care about. Um, because there's a chance you could bend it. Put it through, kind of grab it. Easiest ways to grab on the prop get a motor somewhere here and then right here and you'll just give it a little twist and it should there we go might be a little stuck but it should loosen up for you what we'll do is take that off pull the prop off and generally you want to let that stuff on um, if you're curious at all what how this works there we go so that goes on here this slides over like that and as that pushes on it, it actually tightens down on there. So if for some reason it's slipping, you might just need to tighten your prop because it'll actually push this back and tighten on there. Now that we have the broken prop off, we want to swap out. Um, real quick on props. So if you can, stay with the same brand just because you know it works. You can always change out if you if you you know do your research online and make sure that it's you know that it's going to be an improvement for you, but. You know, I generally stay with the same brand if I if I have them, you know. But overall, a prop's a prop. Uh, you know, it's all personal preference. But anyway, so this one was an APC, and if we look right here, it's a nine by four point seven. So it's nine inch, um, and the four point seven is how far in inches it moves forward in a uh, in a single rotation. So it's a nine four seven is what we need. All right, so I got two props here. As you can tell, they are, well, they're a little different. They're both 947s, I'll tell you that right now. Um, if we look carefully here, uh, let's flip them both the right way. Both APC, there we go, 947SF, 947SFP. So this one's actually a reverse. Mostly you see this for multi-rotors, stuff like that. Sometimes they do it for pushers, stuff. Generally with a uh, brushless motor, it's not a big deal. All you would have to do is swap um, two of the motor wires if you wanted to use this and it would spin in the different direction but since I have it I'm gonna go with this one so what we'll do is we'll slide it on here it's a little little tighter than the other one was um, I got pretty lucky that it actually was was the same uh, if you guys want a video on how to ream out and make this the proper size let me know and I'll, and I'll do that but yeah you just slide it on there make sure it's the same direction which as you can tell it was same direction same size spin everything back on 
and voila, it is on there and we are ready to fly. Like I said, if for some reason you had decided to go with the reverse prop, there's three wires here for a brushless and you will disconnect and swap two of the wires. Let one the same, swap two. And yeah, that's it guys. Uh, we're back in the air. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, thanks again for watching. See ya.